Microfluidics studies the behavior of fluids at the micro to nanometer scale. Microfluidics can miniaturize the work of a whole lab onto a microfluidic chip less than a few inches big. One thing microfluidics is great at is making consistent droplets of fluids. They can be used in cosmetics, chemistry, biology, and even as medicine. To make droplets the regular way, take a beaker filled partly with water and partly with oil, two liquids that can never mix. When you stir, droplets start to form. They are of different sizes. When using this technique at an industrial level, inconsistent droplet size can be an issue and some of the liquid will be lost because you cannot control the quantities precisely. Now, imagine being able to control the exact size and quantity of droplets with a faster and more precise process. Microfluidic equipment can do that. For the same experiment, you need a basic microfluidic chip, a see-through slate with engraved channels only a few nanometers wide. In the microfluidic channels, you can control how you make the droplets. Put the fluid for droplets in one channel, the other fluid will pinch it from both sides and make tiny drops of fluid that collect in the pool on the right. Their size is strictly controlled, there is no waste of product, and the process is fast. You can make up to 1000 droplets per second. Great! But why make droplets at all? Well, this miniature droplet is actually a micro-reactor. It can be made of any type of fluid and we can trap what we want to observe inside. This micro-reactor droplet can be used for many things. Cosmetic creams and lotions, supramagnetic nanoparticles, diagnostic tests and assays, mayonnaise and low-fat food with air-filled fat particles, controlled medicine delivery with biodegradable microparticles, and many more.